This is a box of... Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jazlene, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another collective haul that was not planned, um, but I just had a few packages that came in and some items that I picked up, and I thought I'd share the unboxing with you guys. These are some of the items. So I've got Hermes, I've got Louis Vuitton Chanel, I've got Aritzia, uh, some items from Louisa Via Roma, as well as from Vera Moda. I think that's all of them. I made a list on my phone so I make sure that I don't miss out on anything because I do want to include everything in the video. I just think it's easier to just unbox everything in one video. Um, it's of course like a nightmare to film but um, for you guys I know there's I, I like watching hauls and uh, but this isn't realistic it's it's not something that I do all the time uh, so just know that and uh, but sometimes you do come across some items I'm gonna unbox uh, some things that you've probably seen already before if you follow me on Instagram um, I do have to return one item and for maybe I'll have to return another item we'll see when I unbox it and I try it on but this stuff for sure our keepers and one of the items is for a giveaway for you guys so <laughs> I did reach a thousand subscribers just a short while ago and it was very surreal just like any other milestone um, I know it's still very small for YouTube standards but this is um, something that I didn't imagine and I do like meeting new people I do like talking to you guys over Instagram if I don't get to everyone um, I do try to get to everyone but maybe if I miss something uh, please uh, you know just forgive me I'm gonna try to go through the section on YouTube of unanswered comments sometimes I find comments there that I didn't even see so if I haven't uh, replied back or thanked you for your comment then Thank you so much, but I will personally go through the comments as best as I can. So without further ado, we'll get straight into it. So one of the, I'm going to start with Louise of Aroma because I want to, I'm very curious, I want to know how these are fitting. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is, but there were several items that I had purchased. Um, Louise of Aroma is an online site that I discovered is very good. Um, this isn't sponsored by them. I. I'm not that big yet, but I did. I do shop with them a lot. I have shopped with them uh, like a while, quite a bit in the last couple of years. And for that reason, um, because of how much you order, they have like a loyalty program. So once you reach a certain tier, um, depending on how much you've spent, uh, then you do get. Um, special offers unlocked for you that other people may not get. So what is this? Okay, so you've seen this item before. Um, but anyway, so some things will go on sale uh, for me, but not for other people. So I did do a screen recording of things that I like that I've seen on sale. And then some people were able to get that deal, but other people were like, you know what, this isn't on sale for me. And I was like, wow, like, okay, so it's probably a tier thing. Uh, but they do have coupon codes and newsletters and a point system, which is really nice. So um, this is the hanger that comes with my item. I don't know if I got a hanger last time. But anyway, um, this is that Alexander McQueen shirt. Remember the one that was too tight or across the waist? And um, hopefully this fits. I'll insert a clip. But I ordered a size 40. So hopefully this fits because this is... Nowadays it's getting into that crisp fall weather and this would be perfect to wear. And you guys know I like white shirts. <laughs> So I didn't even bother like buttoning it up all the way, but it does close. It's still tight though, like here, it's still tight. Um, like, yeah, no, this doesn't fit in the most perfect way. I do like the idea of this shirt, but like it doesn't fit properly. I do have an exchange request for another size up. So originally I ordered a 38, which I think in, Italian sizing is smaller for some reason because I read and 38 is considered a 2 for this brand so I'm not a size 2 I'm usually a size 4 to 6 so then I tried the size 40 I'm going to exchange it for a 42 because this band although it fits I think like the moment like I eat <laughs> 
it's gonna be very miserable and just the way it hits like you want to be comfortable right so um, the only problem is sometimes and it gets too loose up here for me I don't know but I think um, like this can always be taken in in case it is big you just want to make sure it fits you on the shoulders properly but I need this to be a smidge looser so I'm gonna I'm going to exchange it for a 42. If it still doesn't work, then I'm just going to return it because there's no sense in spending uh, this much money on a shirt that doesn't fit you properly. But the shape is so nice. Um, yeah, I need it to come down a bit. So, yeah. So I'm going to be sending this in for an exchange. I'll let you know how it goes. So this next item, this is something I'm super, super excited about. This has been on my wish list for a while now. Um, and I was so surprised at the price that I got this at on Louisa Via Roma. And some of you, uh, I did post it in my Insta stories, but some of you had told me that it didn't show up in the sale for you. So they did do recently a 20% discount on fall winter items. And um, like uh, there were some items that I never expected. So again, yeah, Louisa Via Roma, you get a really nice box. And this is going to be perfect for the fall season. It doesn't come in a box of its own, unfortunately. But this is a Burberry trench coat. And I saved nearly $800 Canadian on this. And um, it was 20% off upon checkout. Um, and the uh there's I, I have free shipping well usually shipping is 20 euros now but i traded in some of my points to get free shipping for the year because i didn't want to like if i'm returning stuff then i don't want to lose out on shipping right um and what am i doing here but anyway this is the chelsea trench coat so burberry did uh recently i think in the last two two years they sort of changed their heritage line so uh, I do have a trench coat uh, of a Kensington trench coat um, and I purchased it in the stone color and they were phasing that out so I purchased that in uh, 2018 I think and then I always wanted the black version of that but they stopped making that jet black color I don't know why like black is so classic and they came out with like this midnight um, or dark navy blue color and at first I wasn't really sure I wasn't really feeling it and um, I thought that okay like I I want black and um, I went in to the boutique in Cannes when I was there last year and I remember I tried this specific coat on the Chelsea style hold on I'm distracted I'm just not how do I open this? Okay, so the Chelsea style is uh, the most streamlined and fitted uh, trench coat. So I have wider hips and I never, like the Kensington is more of like a straight cut and that was the one that fit me. Um, and then I tried the Sandringham but then it wouldn't close at the bottom but then it would be all loose up top. So I needed something with a bit of a hourglass type of or pear something that's I'm pear shaped okay I'm not hourglass I'm pear shaped but something that flares out at the hips and waist and the Chelsea style I, if I tried it on in my size it was too tight and I didn't know that I had to size up so with Chelsea if you are a specific size always go size up um, from your regular trench coat size so she had told me that I tried it on and it was it was pretty nice and I wasn't I didn't want to spend the money at the time I probably could have saved on the vat but um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to spend, uh, that wasn't in my budget that year. So I went into the Burberry boutique and I'm going to try to try this on. I went into the Burberry boutique last week and I tried on the, this jacket in a size up and there are different lengths. So in the past there were three lengths and now there are two lengths so in the past they had a shorter version then they had a, a long version and then they had an extra long and now they just have like the long and the extra long and and before depending on the length that you went for the price is different and now the the prices are are the same 
So in Canada, this retails for $25.50 and plus HST. There used to be a loophole with Burberry where you could um, save, like if they ordered online for you, then you'll save 13% tax, like you, you would be exempt from tax if they ordered in. Now that's not the case. And great, okay, that works. Okay, so this is the long length. I'm gonna try to move the camera. Maybe you can see better, but you can see everything on the floor. I'll try to insert a mod shot, but anyway, it does fit. So it has the um, more of the vintage check. It doesn't have the older check as before. So this is the Kensington Trench that I have from before. This is the stone color. They don't make this color anymore. And this has the classic check that we all know and love. And then recently they changed to more of the yellowy vintage check. Um, on most coats, the buttons are now tone on tone. So this is tone on tone, unlike the previous coats where it had the darker buttons with the light trench. Um, I don't like the tone on tone buttons, but some people do. So um, this is really nice. You can definitely belt it. So you can, they always like make it look so nice in the, in the boutique, but anyway, you can bring it down. And then this is the extra, this is the long length and surprisingly it was the same price as the mid length. And um, I didn't get, I don't think I got a hanger with this. Um, no, I didn't get a hanger with this, which is unfortunate. Usually with Burberry, like when I got my last trench coat, it was, I had like a full box and it had the dust bag and the, the garment bag and the hanger, but this, with this one I didn't. But you know what, I don't mind because I don't use those things anyway. And I'm so happy that I got this in the long length for the price that I did. So shameless plug on my green trendy CC. So navy, green, and tan are like my favorite new color palette combination. I think it just goes so well. And I'm really enjoying wearing this bag. <laughs> I can't tell you enough. But anyway, this fits really well. This is the vintage check on the inside. And um, now with this style, because it cuts in at the waist, it is ideal for people who are pear-shaped which is great for me and I think a lot of people are pear shaped so it does work really well. You can actually um, belt the back. I know when you're in boutique they do it really nicely for you. I have to take the coat off and actually like strategically tie up the back so that it's ready to go but when you cinch it in the back it's just very flattering. Um, I can also button it up all the way so that it's not tight at all on the hips which is perfect. Um, it was it was pulling a little bit across the chest, even when I was trying it on in boutique, but you can always move the buttons over, like that's no big deal. The biggest, the most important thing is for the shoulders to fit and for the arms to fit. Everything else can be altered. Uh, the length is something that I'm really loving. I think it looks way more dressy than the mid length. Uh, I think it actually elongates you as well. You can also throw it over your shoulders. I have trouble doing that because it always falls off, but it is pretty chic and looks super fashionable. Um, but most likely I'm gonna wear this thing because it's freaking cold here. So at checkout, I got 20% off of $25.50. And then that is the VAT included price. Like there's no tax on top. There's no customs when you bring it into Canada. So. I saved nearly $800 on this jacket, whereas here I would have had to pay $25.50 plus HST. So it was a win, plus I was able to get my size and the length I wanted in the boutique. They didn't have the length, although I could have gone for the midsize, but I have a lot of midsize jackets and I wanted something long. I just find it's more dressy. Um, you can It looks really elegant when you wear dresses and skirts and because of the A-line shape, it looks very dressy for the evening. The midnight color is pretty nice. At nighttime it registers black, but the the blue color looks the dark blue color looks very soft and with the green trendy cc i had tried it on and it looked amazing so i'm very happy with this purchase the next item is also from louisa via roma and i also did a mod shot on my insta stories unfortunately i'm gonna have to return this so i saw this at holt run fruit in toronto and I, they only had this jacket in a size 40 and a size 36 and this is an item from Balmain 
and I have a number of their blazers and whatnot and I saw that they had a leather jacket and it had the gold hardware, shoulder pads, everything. It's just absolutely gorgeous, very luxe. And I saw it in store and I, the 36 I knew that I wouldn't fit into, although I probably should have tried it on. But I tried on the 40 and I'm like, okay, this looks pretty nice. I didn't take a photo of it. I just, I just like, oh, okay, this fits. Cause sometimes with leather jackets, you can't get them to zip up. And this I could zip up. So I was like, okay, this is nice. Um, so on Louisa V Aroma, cause Claire Choquette um, or Claire Chanel on uh, YouTube also bought this jacket. And I noticed on Louisa V Aroma, this is also included in the 20% discount for me. And I went for it, but they didn't have size 38 and I'm usually a size 38. And I figured, no, well, I tried it on the 40 in store and it's totally fine. I'm gonna order the 40. So it came in. And then I was at another Holt run through. So we have another Holt run through in like um, at square one. And they happened to have a 38 there and I tried it on and it was perfect. And when I tried on the 40, it was too big. So I knew when this was coming in that this would be a return and on Louisa Villaroma they're sold out. They only have the 40 and the 42 in stock. So I'm keeping this in case, like for now, like during the return period, if that 38 comes back in stock, which I doubt, but if it comes in stock, I'll exchange it for that one. Otherwise I'm going to return this and get a refund. And I noticed that other sites, um, for instance, on like Farfetch and um, matches. I've never shopped with matches before. Essence, they have this jacket and they have 38. It's not on sale yet, but if you can see, it just looks super nice, but it's too, it's too big. Like it's, I mean, I could make it work. I don't know. I'll insert a proper mod shot. You guys let me know what you think. Okay. I do really like it. It's roomy. What I find with leather jackets is sometimes I just get them too small. They always tell me, oh, they'll stretch, they'll stretch, but then they never do. And then I can't do them up. Like I want them to be fitted up here on the shoulders and all, but then when you come across the waist, I can't do it up. And that defeats the purpose. The whole point of wearing a leather jacket is to keep you warm. And we don't really have a whole lot of leather jacket weather in Toronto anyway like it's either very very hot and sunny and or you know you have like very cold weather where you need to wear something more substantial and that in-between weather you only get for a short period of time so I'm sad if I have to return this I don't know now that I tried it on again it seems a bit better but let's see okay we'll see about that so after I film this I noticed that a size 36 came back in stock so I sent an exchange for the 40 so I've sent the 40 back for the 36 and then at Holt Renfrew I saw that they had the 36 available that was the only one so I tried it on but I don't know if it's too tight on the arms um, I don't know a full stretch so when it comes in maybe I can assess that so everything's like a mess right now <laughs> okay so I'm going to treat you with the Chanel unboxing. So, um, you know, usually when you see hauls, everybody leaves like the good stuff to the end, but I'm going to mix it up. I just wanted to open the Louisa V Aroma stuff first because I was curious. But I was um, in uh, Holt Renfrew with one of my friends and um, we were just looking at some items for her. And I just asked at the time, I said, you know, do you have any costume jewelry? Anytime I'm in Chanel. Um, I look for costume jewelry just because they may have some new pieces in that I that weren't in before So I saw this item and I thought that it was really nice and it'll definitely match with something that I already have and I was um, And I know this is a hot item and I think you guys will like this so this uh, I have the receipt and everything in here and Of course, it's I'm gonna come a little bit closer, but I did uh, post this on my Instagram so it's so cute when you have the little, little box, right? So put this in there to reveal. These studs. These are the Paris button collection, just the little studs. I think these are so sweet looking. Um, the, the, the little stud, the, little stick or the little needle is at the top of the stud it's not in the middle 
but um, when you hold them up they just look so elegant and they match the brooch that I have so definitely really 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 cute a really nice item I'll just try it on actually while I'm here so that you can see so I'll take off this guy here and let's put this in and then you can get a lovely close-up of my mug So that's what they look like. Very cute, um, very iconic to the Metier Dot collection. So the next item is from a Canadian brand. It's called Vero Moda, and they're not very well known. They have some of their items on um, at like third-party retailers. But anyway, um, I saw this on Instagram, and I thought it was really nice. And I think um, this print is still on trend for 2020. I already do have a jacket from them last year or the year before that I purchased from M Boutique and it's one of those like fuzzy sort of teddy coats and it was really really warm and so I decided okay you know what this wasn't it really wasn't that pricey it was um, around $130 and it's a houndstooth um, sort of wool blend. I don't know if this is wool. This is probably polyester because it's not wool. But anyway, it looks like this. And it's like an oversized fit. So I did order. Oh, it's got snap buttons. Which is always nice. And let's do a quick try on. I would hate to return this because there's no store that I could physically return this in. But Where's the tank? It's actually a little bit too big around the shoulders. Um, but I did read the measurements. I don't know, but I think it it is really cute. I'll insert better mod shots, but um, you can definitely like cinch in the waist and very nice. Um, let's see what this is made of. Um, made in China <laughs> and it is oh gosh it doesn't even say yeah it's 68% poly polyester 14% viscose 12% acrylic 6% polyamide that is yeah for the price that you pay that's usually what you're gonna get but it is pretty nice like sometimes these can keep you warm this is just like kind of like a statement coat if you want to get that sort of Chanel um, 19k look so the next item is from Aritzia, and this was also an item that I was lusting after, but it was sold out so quickly. And I used, um, there's an app called ShopTager. I'm not sponsored by ShopTager, but I do use it. And um, just for items like this that come back in stock, I just happen to save my guesstimated size, because. Um, usually I do know my size at Aritzia, but for certain styles you kind of have to try them on because I'm pear-shaped, so I need to see if this actually fits. It was the only one that came back in stock. So with Aritzia, all of their online orders come in these neat little envelopes. It's very pretty and it's got some artwork on the top. Um, and then there. So it's a dress. It's called the Wilfred Elba dress. So. The pleated chiffon skirts that I wear, I get a lot of compliments on them, but this just seemed, oh, I think this should fit. So it's like a long, flowy dress. I'm going to try this on. This I may or may not keep, but I'm going to have to try it on and see and style it. And if I do decide to keep it, then I will update you. If not, then I'll just I'll let you know as well and I'll return it in store. Okay, so this is the Aritzia Elba dress. And I'm surprised this actually fits. Usually with dresses, because my hips are wider, the size up top doesn't match the size on the bottom and I never fit into anything. But this is just very flowy. It's like a chiffon material. And you can like wear this anywhere. Like you, this is one of those pieces that you can, you can wear to work. I probably can't because how the hell am I gonna like, you know, do this to people, adjust them. Like I, my leg flying, I can't do that. But you can wear it in the work setting. You can wear this to a family gathering. You can go out shopping. Um, 
it's very comfortable, very breathable, it's chiffon, there's, it's lined, you don't have to put on anything underneath, it's long, um, so really, really good piece. Uh, it did sell out, I think they'll probably bring it back. So it did sell out, um, so I think I did see a couple of other sizes come back up, but this is a very popular item. And pairing the navy again with my green trendy CC. The color is not showing up as it should, but again, green and navy look really good together. I've got it on with heels. You could probably belt it for added definition. So I have this like pleather PVC belt that I got on Amazon. And I think if I do that, I don't know, maybe, yes, no. Okay, so if I do that and then I tie it, I don't know if I'm doing a good job, but. So let's say if I tie it like that, you could also belt it if you really wanted to, right? Um, you could put like a statement belt if you like, if you have one of those like logo belts. I need to organize that account, it's a mess, okay. But this is, I have a Dior 30 Montaigne belt. So for outfits like this, this goes perfectly. And this is actually the only designer belt I own. This is actually one of the only belts I own. I don't really wear belts, but um, you could. Oh wow, that does pop. So navy and gold really pop. And yeah, totally loving this. I really like this outfit. Okay, this is a very safe option. It's great if you're going to go out to a restaurant, you're going to eat a lot. It's nice and flowy and comfortable, comfortable to sit in, and also kind of warm too, right? Because it's, it's very breathable. So this is definitely a keeper. I'm so glad that I was able to find this. And it just, as I threw the outfit together, this gives me a, like a very Dior silhouette. Um, very like full skirt, um, especially with the belt. I know Dior does some pleated... Um, sort of like uh, polka dot mesh skirts. This kind of gives me that vibe. And then I'm just pairing it with my Dior slingbacks, Dior 30 Montaigne belt, and then I've got a Chanel green trendy CC, which I absolutely love. It looks so good with the navy blue. I'm so happy with this. Okay, um, next item. Okay, so Hermes. I'm going through this really quickly because I don't want my camera to overheat and I don't want to bore you guys. So I was in Hermes, uh, usually these days with Hermes you have to book an appointment. I happened to be in the area because I was picking up uh, my Kensington, Burberry Kensington trench coat because I was getting it dry cleaned, which they did an amazing job. I took it to Dove Cleaners in Yorkville, that's what they recommended. And I had like a lot of like marks on it because it's a light color and they're all gone. Like I, I was really amazed that they were able to get all that out, so, so that was good. So the yeah, item that I think most of us have been waiting for, this is from Hermes, and uh, Hermes has an appointment system now in uh, the boutique. They're not just letting everybody in, so you have to make an appointment to go. And I happened to be in the area, and I just walked over and I asked, and they happened to have a cancellation, so I uh, they told me, you know, come back in like half an hour, and so I did. So in here, I actually have a sample of lipstick. So, oh, it actually, oh, that's kind of neat. They didn't have many samples left, but the color I have is Rouge H, which is 85 matte. And then it comes with a little lipstick brush, which is really cute. Look at that, that's nice. Okay, so I'll give this a shot. Um, I already have enough makeup, so I don't need to spend more money on makeup, but um, if you want something bougie with a little case and all, it's, it's nice. It's nice to give as a gift as well. So I went in and um, I asked for a Birkin, <laughs> just kidding, I didn't, but uh, this is my receipt and in here, I went to go look at the Iran sandals and see what they had in stock, but then they did have them, but I don't know, they just didn't thrill me as much and it was getting kind of chilly, so I looked at shoes, I looked at some small other goods, but I wasn't planning on getting anything, but when I saw these, um, they were really, really special. So this is the Hermes box, and I don't normally shop Hermes in Toronto. It's usually when we're traveling in Las Vegas and in Europe. So it's just, it just so happens, like, 
we, you know, when you're on vacation, you're more, you're more inclined to shop. So, um, I guess I just don't go to this Hermes because where it is located on Bloor Street, this, that's where our regulatory college is. And the regulatory college is the place, you know, where you get in trouble. So I guess I, I have bad associations with that area. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But like, it's, uh, I just don't go there. I don't know why. But anyway, very nice ribbon. Um, thinner, it's kind of like embossed if anybody's ever curious about packaging. You've got the little Hermes sort of raised logo. And then you've got little horsies on it horse and carriage really nice um but yeah okay so in goes the ribbon this is a box of oops <laughs> this is a box of shoes and we're gonna open them and again i'm on a sensible footwear kick so i saw these and this is normally not a color i would go for but they looked stunning when i was walking around the boutique they looked stunning on but these are it. Let me get the other one out. So I don't own any Hermes shoes. Um, I still have to show my husband these, but <laughs> I think he'll approve. But anyway, they're in a tan color. They had them in black. Um, these are goat skin and they've got silver uh, H logo on the top. Not very flashy, like it's there, but it's not like in your, well, I guess if you wanted to argue it is in your face, but for me, they're not as in your face. <laughs> um, and really really soft there was no breaking in i got these in a size 40. i could have gone for 39 and a half because in some loafers like for instance louis vuitton and gucci i usually go 39 and a half otherwise they slip off but in these um yeah the 40 was fine i'm going to be wearing like a suck hat with them i'll try them on again just in case i need to exchange them but i think i did try the 39 and a half they were more snug and these are just very comfortable the chanel loafers i got in a 40 so it was good um They've got a rubberized sole, which is nice. Normally, when you get loafers and shoes and all that, it's just this shiny base and it's very slippery, but I didn't actually notice that they actually have a rubberized sole on there, so you don't have to pay extra money to get soles on it. This, These are the two dust bags that you get, so they're just like a classic Hermes dust bag. And the style of these shoes, they're called moccasins. Um, yeah, well, anyway, I'll insert, uh, can you see that? That it there, and I don't know if you can see, I'll try to insert a photo if you can't see it, but this is the style. And um, really nice, and I never thought I'd buy a color like this. They seem to just go with everything, very neutral. So I'm very happy with these, very comfortable. I get a lot of wear of the, out of them like again the loafers and instead of ballet flats i find ballet flats are uncomfortable these are some of the most comfortable loafers i got these in the chanel sale in june remember i was kind of on the fence about them i get compliments on this left right and center on these shoes i had no idea and they're so comfortable like there's no breaking in even with these these are the louis vuitton uppercase loafers um again one of my most complimented shoe and also very 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 comfortable so moving on to uh, Louis Vuitton, it's been a while since I've shopped at Louis Vuitton. Um, actually, let's start off with this. This is more of an impulse purchase. When I was shopping for this item, I saw this item in store and I took a photo of it, but I didn't actually try them on and take a photo of them and I didn't ask the sales associate about them anyway. But I was in another Louis Vuitton with the same friend, one of my really good friends, that I, um, uh, when I bought those Chanel boots and like, I guess she's no good for me because she's always encouraging me if she, like if she likes it, because she's not into this stuff, but she's like, she'll point out stuff. She's like, actually, that's really nice. So when I get her input and I'm like, okay, that means that it is a nice item. One of my subscribers and followers on uh, Instagram also has this item. And then she was also uh, raving about these. So this is the receipt actually. We had a, a dinner reservation and this is perfume sample. She, you know what? She was supposed to give me perfume samples and she didn't. And same with the other one. She didn't give me the perfume samples. I'm very upset about that. I've spent money. I need, I want samples. So um, I saw, I just asked about these and tried them on and fell in love with them. 
Um, I need to not buy more stuff because I've already done enough damage this year. So from now on, no more unboxings. That's why I'm doing this all in one video. But I tried them on and she really liked them. So uh, yeah, so this is the box. And we had a dinner reservation, so we were running, um, like we, were, we didn't have a whole lot of time because again with Louis Vuitton, I had to put my name down and there was an appointment system. But uh, we didn't have much time left and then the sales associate, like she couldn't print the receipt for whatever reason, like she couldn't figure out which computer it was printing from or what printer it was going to. So she's like, you know what, I'll, I'll just give you the regular um, department store receipt and then your Louis Vuitton receipt, you can always come back and get the hard copy because I had to go, right? So it is a pair of sunglasses and this is the drawer type box and this is the case i've never i don't think i i don't own any louis vuitton sunglasses so i don't really know what is the standard packaging for that there's a massive booklet that goes with these so it says lunettes de soleil and this is the box so it's got a magnetic closure, you open it up, kind of suede-like interior, and then this is the item. I tried them on, I showed them to my husband, I sent him a photo, he likes them. Um, and then this is the item code. Does it focus? No, it doesn't. Okay, but anyway, these are the sunglasses, so it's got the little gold corners and then it has this monogram uh, sort of imaged sort of monogram print on the sides very oversized and if I put them on what do we think what do we think I think they're really nice um, but I was like, they're kind of expensive, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy more sunglasses because I already bought two pairs this year. So, <clears throat> but these are very special. I was disappointed that these aren't polarized. <sighs> One of my uh, followers, she's an optometrist, and she clarified for me that polarized doesn't necessarily that polarized doesn't necessarily mean that it is better for your vision or your eyes. The most important thing is UVA UVB protection, which all of these glasses do have. The polarized just prevents the glare. And the first time I bought polarized sunglasses, they were my Chanel sunglasses and I, you know, first I thought it was weird, but I really like them. Um, I feel like I can't wear any other sunglasses. So, um, especially like with the snow and all, you get glare and stuff, right? But I'm disappointed that these aren't polarized. Like you should make all your glasses polarized. Like there's no excuse. If you're charging over $500 for sunglasses, they need to be polarized. But she clarified that that's not the that's not necessary. So I also messaged another uh, YouTuber. She's also a doctor on YouTube. She's an ophthalmologist, uh, Dr. Rupa Wong, and I put a comment on one of her videos to just sort of explain the difference between polarized and non-polarized sunglasses. Uh, I don't think she posted anything yet. But then also we're in a pandemic, and she runs a busy practice, and she's got three kids, so maybe she'll get to it at some point so uh but my uh one of my followers uh i doc bianca she um clarified that for me so i feel a little bit better but i wish they were polarized the last item okay wow i think this is gonna be shorter than expected <laughs> i wanted to purchase a giveaway item for you guys there was an item that i really wanted to get but it is out of stock um and it's a mini pochette ssr and I'm on a wait list for that. If I do end up getting it, then I will exchange this for that. Um, but for now, I think this also is a very hot item and it is what in one of my recommendations videos, the video that I did on the top five luxury items under $555 Canadian. Um, so this is one of the items and I'm so happy that I got my hands on this for you guys. So this is a giveaway item for you. Um, and I'll leave the instructions for the giveaway down below. But anyway, I'm going to open this and I'll rewrap wrap it, okay? So this is what I went to get originally. Uh, there's a receipt and I think there's a gift receipt as well. I asked her to print that so you'll get that. Oh, yeah. One of them is a gift receipt. It's a small leather good, but definitely one of my favorites. So it's got a pull-out drawer. And comes in a little dust bag. 
We're gonna open it up. And it is a six ring monogram key holder and this is the best part. It is made in France. Although, you know, made in Italy, made in Spain, not that there's anything wrong with that, but we all want made in France. This is an amazing item. You can stick a card in this back slot right here and you've got six key rings. You can put all your um, keys in there. You've got the tags, so the item code and all that. So it's coated fabric with cowhide leather lining. Um, really, really, really nice. I, there were two that I could choose from, so I picked the best one. The button does have a little bit of, I noticed there were little scratches on it. Um, the other one had more, and I asked my SA, and she said, well, actually, because they hammer the button on, and that's why you get the little marks. But this is very, very minimal. Um, but anyway, really nice, and I would love for um, everyone to have this, but this is such a handy item to have in your purse. I don't have a Louis Vuitton version, I have a Guillard version, and the Guillard version has these like uh, smooth leather pockets in here, but they get nicked by your keys, so I like the fact that this is more of a textured print. It's okay if it doesn't have little pockets because you can't really put much in there. The most important thing is having this back and some key holders don't have that. My Chanel one doesn't have that, it just has a flap, and I wish they just joined it at the bottom, but that one has a pocket on the back. But I would like to have one of these myself. I think I might pick one up for myself because I do have other keys and I'd like to have a secondary thing, and um, you can just go out the door, put your driver's license in there, put like a $100 bill, $50 bill, $20 bill in there, uh, put your key fob, on the one of these rings, attach it to like a chain, um, you're good to go. This is a really, really great item. Um, great price point for a luxury item, great gift to give. And yes, I will be doing a giveaway with this. Um, briefly, uh, in the last giveaway, uh, there are the same instructions, right? So I'm gonna leave a photo and I'm gonna insert it here. So you are gonna um, go to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram and tag two of your friends and this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you are into this sort of stuff and you're in the luxury community you're going to really like this channel and i think we'll have a lot of fun here together so uh subscribe make sure your subscriptions are visible so i need to see that you're subscribed uh, sometimes you can private your list but for this giveaway like make sure closer to the closing date that your subscriptions list is visible so i can see that you're subscribed and uh, leave a comment uh, in the uh, below of which item you like the best and um, and then the further instructions will be there as well so i'm going to push the closing date to about three months and i'll leave the exact date down below because i'm going to do it from the time that i post this video so yes we're in september uh, so October, November, and December. So I'm going to do it before Christmas. So um, the holidays this year may suck for a lot of people um, just because we're probably, I don't know, we might be approaching a second wave with COVID and um, we're probably not going to have the same social gatherings as we would during Christmas. The days get shorter and the economy is very unpredictable at this point. A lot of people are being laid off. Um, people may not be getting as much work. Businesses are really suffering. So we're all going to get hit at some point. Um, but it generally won't be a very. We'll try to make the most of it, but I don't. I don't think it'll be the same. So just this is just done one to thank you guys and also possibly you know just make somebody's day right. So. Um, I wish I could give this to everybody, uh, but I obviously I can't, <laughs> but um, this is going to be done around Christmas time. I think that will be a, a very fitting time. So before Christmas, I guess this will be my Christmas giveaway present to all of you guys. I don't know, but we're going to open it up for three months, so you have plenty of time to enter and uh, plenty of time to you know put your entries in. You don't have to do it right away. I was racing through this because I want this to be a shorter video and I don't want my camera to overheat. But anyway, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Uh, this, it's a, it's a huge honor and I, um, I'm, I'm really, really flattered that <laughs> so I've reached that point. Apparently now I can monetize my videos. 
Um, and I don't think you make a whole lot of money on YouTube anyway. This isn't my career, right? But hey, that's kind of nice. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.